Hi guys, welcome to Linksai YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, we will talk about Kubernetes config maps. But before start the lab session, we need to understand few points, which is what is Kubernetes config maps and their use cases. So you can see this is the official website of Kubernetes. And as per documentation, config map is an API object used to store non-confidential data in key value pairs. Ports can consume config map as environment variable, command line arguments, or as configuration file in a volume. Config maps allow you to decouple environment specify configuration from your container images so that your application are easily portable. You should reach for a config map when your apps deployments needed access to config values that could change independently of your code. A classic example is a system that use a database connection. You will need to supply the host name or IP address of the address server for your app to function properly or correctly. So in this demo, we will see how we can work with the Kubernetes config map. So let's begin the lab session. So I am back on my Linux VM and currently you can see I am working on single Linux machine where I have already installed Minikube Kubernetes cluster. So let me show you the OS release version of this machine and Minikube status first. So if I go back here and say cat etc version release you can see this is RHEL 9.3 and let me check the minikube status so okay yeah it is up and running so before we moving to next verify the status of cluster to check the node availability in the cluster run the following command kubectl kubectl get nodes okay See in my minikube single load cluster is in ready condition and once you have node available in your cluster you are ready to create your first pod. So now we will check the list of the pod in default namespace. The command is kubectl get pods. Okay no resource found in the default namespace since this will be our first pod of the cluster so that the reason you will not see any pod in the default namespace. Let's move to the first step which is create config map main phase file for single literal value. To create config map by a single literal value, we can apply the demo file from Kubernetes documentation and modify the entries as per our need. Let me show you the code. So if I'm going back on the official documentation and scroll down, uh, here you can find out uh, demo file, right? So you can copy this demo file and modify as per your need. So let me make my project directory first. So I'll make a directory, project one, I'll move over there. And now here we have two options to make the config map file. First, either we copy the entire code from this documentation or, or modify as per our need. Or second thing is that, that we can go imperative command line tool to generate config map file. So I'll go with the second method. So to create config map file from literal value, single literal value, we will use the following command. I have write down the command here from notepad. So I just copy that one and I'm back here. Okay, now I'll press enter this one. kubectl create config map. Config map hyphen one from hyphen one from literal red hat is equal to Linux write and client hyphen OML and I'll save the entire output inside first hyphen config map dot YAML file. So here you can see uh, if I go to my uh, first config map file, here you can see kind kind is a config map and require one top level data field that define the key value pair which is uh, data field inside Red Hat and Linux. So basically this command will make first config map YAML file on dry run mode where we can use hyphen hyphen from literal argument. This one, this is the argument, right? Where I use key value pair. And uh, this is the key value pair structure and here Red Hat is a key and the value is Linux. And inside this entire command, I use two extra additional option, which is dry run, a dry run, as well as hyphen o yaml. So dry run to instruct the kubectl to not to create the resources. It is only for the dry run purpose. And hyphen o yaml is basically used to display the main first file in the yaml format. And later, I'll save the entire output inside a new name first hyphen config map dot yaml. So my file is ready. Let's deploy this one. So I can go with kubectl command apply hyphen f and first config dot map dot yaml 
okay it's created successfully config map created successfully let's get the config map status using kube ctl kube ctl get config map or we can go short get cm so now you can see one config map is successfully running which is known as config map one which is just 13 cfm i have created right now let's describe the config map using the kubectl describe command kubectl describe uh, config map which is in shortcut cm config config fig map config map hyphen hyphen one okay so now you can see data value red hat as linux so we have a one key which is known as red hat and the value is linux now move to the next step which is call this config map in our pod manifest file for deploy the pod so let me copy the code from the notepad and paste it here also one more time i'll create a file cm-1.yaml dot yaml so and here this is the entire code for creating the pod and calling this config map file let's save it so here we are going to launch let me explain what i'm going to do here i'm going to it's a kind is pod and here i'm going to launch one pod named config map hyphen demo hyphen one where one container will be going to be launched named demo container and uh, which is based on angelix image and here we have called the env from option environment from an env form field in extract kubernetes to create environment variable from the source nested within it and the config map refers refers this refers to config map by its name and select all its key value pair remember all key value pairs so here i'm referring the my config map name config map hyphen one which i just recently few minutes ago i have created right so let's deploy this file using the command kubectl kubectl apply hyphen f okay pod config map hyphen demo one successfully created so our pod is successfully created let's check the pod status so we can go with kubectl for kubectl get pods hyphen o let me go with wide and go with the watch so see you can see container is going to be created container is going to be created first time it will take some time because it will pull the image angelix image right so let it be let it be complete first then we will check the environment variable inside this container so for that one the command is kubectl exec hyphen it and then the config map demo one this is the you can say your pod name and hyphen hyphen print env to get the print so now you can see it is in running condition now i will stop so if i go back only this one you can see my container is in up and running condition now let's check the environment variable set in the running pod by using command line tool kubectl exc hyphen it config map hyphen demo hyphen one this is the your pod name and print env so as soon as i press enter here you can see red hat is equal to the next so you can see red hat key and the value is available with this code so this is how what we can do this is how we can launch config map using single literal value right now let's move to the next part which is launch config map using multiple literal value so it is also possible that we can call up multiple values so let's launch one more config map manifest file using the same command line tool with multiple value this time so for that one what i will do i will go with more time kubectl command config map but this time multiple value right so i just copy one more time the entire command clear the screen and this is the command line tool i press enter get second config map so here uh, here config maps allow you to introduce multiple values through environment variable and rest of the things are same just like older one but i use hyphen hyphen from literal red hat linux as well as from literal value apple is equal to fruit, fruit twice to pass two different key pair for config map right so one is red hat with value linux and on in the on the second one is apple and the value is fruit so if i go here you can see two value data values are there right apple and fruit so now let's def just deploy this config map also so command is kubectl apply hyphen f second config dot map and now if i go with, with uh, get cm you will see two config map config map one and config map two 
Now the same time to call to mount this configuration uh, config map file inside the pod. So let me create one more cm2.eml file. Let me go to the code. So this is the code. Let me copy and I have write down the importance line. What is the importance of what line? So let me say so we are going to launch one more pod named config map demo 2 and where one container will be going to be launched name is demo container which will be based on nginx image here it is and here i'm adding env section inside environment section uh, to the yaml file of the pod to pull the specified environments variable from its config map not all uh, all variable value earlier we call all variable value but this time in our case i'm pulling lowercase apple key look at that lowercase apple key value from my config map file which is config map 2 with the new environment variable for this pod which is in uppercase value apple right so this this will do this will pick up the value of apple and make a new environment variable uppercase apple right so let's deploy this file i said kubectl kubectl apply hyphen f cm2 now if i go back uh, get pods see it is in creating condition yeah it is now running so it is up and running let's set the environment variable setting in the running pod so we can use the same command kubectl expc hyphen it your uh, pod name in my case my pod name is this time second config map demo 2 print env and yeah here it is you can see the value so uh, you can see in this pod we have a uppercase apple key value which is fruit is available from our our multiple config map file so this is how we can launch uh, config map using multiple literal value and use any one of key value not to all right so that is the second way uh, or this is a second method you can say to launch your config map file third one is uh, we can move to the next step which is create config map as a volume format also so in this section we are we, are, we can create a config map from single file and later on we can mount it as a volume in our pod file right so let me create a data file like data file and here i will put up the some key and value so i write down some key value here like this you can go with anyone not a big deal this is only for the demonstration purpose so i use the value key username the username is root and the password is one four one two three four five right so this is my data file now so my data file is ready with the key and value and the username and the password is key and their value is root and one two three four respectively so now let me create another config map file using this data file this time not single value or not multiple value so how we will do that the same command line tool uh and kubectl create command imperative command line tool one more time kubectl create config map the new map name is config map 3 from the file here i am using from the file and the file name where you want to uh, where you want to going to uh, pick up the entry so i say data file dry run and press enter so if i go with cat command here you can see my third config map file is ready with my data field value look at the data field this is the data field value one value is username second value is the password so let me deploy this config map file one more time kubectl apply hyphen f and third config map yaml yes kubectl uh, get cm get config map okay you can see third one is also there right now what we need to do now uh, finally we need to mount this config map file inside in our port right so vim cm3.eml this time and let me copy the code and mount paste it here so i'll go with api version v1 okay so now we are going to launch one more pod config name uh, name config map demo hyphen 3 this is the demo uh, demo pod where one container will be launched the name is demo container 3 which will be based on nginx image and here i use some volume section right here you can see volume section volume mount and volume section so volume name is basically the name of the volume is declared in this field that is config so i created one volume which is one config volume config map this one this is declared in this field and config map name this one 
the name of the config map which must be the same uh, the name of config map created earlier so in my case it is config map 3 just few minutes ago i have created config map 3 then volume volume mounts name this one volume mount name so uh, the name of the config uh, the, the the declare volume is injected into the pod in this field which which is why the declaration is under the container specification the name must be the same as the name of the volume which is config in our case so that name it should be same right so this way this way i'm going to be inject here and finally the path volume mounts path volume mount part this uh, the unused directory where you will like uh, like the config map to appear so in it is it is in my etc config map in my case so let's finally deploy this file so i run the command kubectl apply hyphen f cm3 dot eml right okay successfully deploy let's uh, get the port kubectl get port get port okay you can see config map demo hyphen 3 successfully ready now the pod is running condition you need to ex execute inside to the pod to confirm if the config map has been ejected or not so the command for that one is kubectl exec hyphen it your uh, your pod name and this time i need a shell so i use hyphen hyphen bat now i am inside in my config map demo 3 and here i will use the run the command cat what is the file name etc config map and inside data file and here you can see yeah we got the value username root and the password right so uh, we can access the data value inside the pod so final output shows that the config map has been injected into the pod this is why uh, this is why you can view or the you can view the data store inside the config map in the container in a pod so this is how what we can say we can use config map in kubernetes cluster and we learn different different ways to create the config map using single value, letter value, multiple letter value or the file format, right? And we can use it in our workload as per our needed. So guys, that's all about this demo. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another interesting topic. Till then keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something is, please reach out to me through my, my, my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. And if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.